Hi Pisces! Thanks for showing up to watch your February general reading. This is going to cover um, generally what does February look like for you overall, the challenges you're going to face, the vibes you're putting out there, um, and then I'm going to give you like an area of focus or like a goal to work on for the month for your own spiritual development and for like the better trajectory of your life path. <laughs> and then we're going to look specifically at the areas of work, career and finance, your love life, whether you're single or coupled, we're going to look at both, um, your personal growth and development. And then for those of you who don't follow me on other social media areas like Facebook or Instagram, I'm more of a Facebook person than an Instagram one to be honest. Um, well, then you might not know that I'm kind of like obsessed with crystals, so I'm going to talk about your crystal of the month, if you're interested in that, and we'll just go ahead and get started. So I've got two decks here going. The first one is, for those of you who care, <laughs> some of you don't, <laughs> but this is the Gilded Tarot by Ciro Marchetti. The other one's called Wisdom for Healing, I believe. So let's get started. In February, what does it look like for you? They're like new opportunities. Well, this is awesome if you're watching this video ahead of um, February 1st. For sure. So I'm glad we're getting this out there early. Um, with this Cancer Moon that we had in January, it's doing all of this weird stuff. I don't know if you saw the Cancer Moon video. Instead of me talking about it in this video, you might just want to go watch it. But point is, then after the Capricorn New Moon, it's like we want to get our goal set. Uh, so anyway, go investigate if you care. But yeah, new opportunities that can bring you a lot of financial abundance or could bring you a lot of stability or um, good routines. So if you set any, what do they call those, New Year's resolutions, they're going to pay off for you as long as you set the right ones. <laughs> Challenges in general that you're going to face in the month of February for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, I should mention, is that not everybody wants the same thing as you. And that's maybe hard for you to reconcile, especially as a Pisces, sometimes it's hard for you to decide what you want in the first place. And so then when other people don't agree with it, that's going to be a challenge. The vibe that you're putting out um, is that you are patient, but that your patience pays off, which we already know because this is going to be a very positive month for you in regards to potentially finances or just like your day-to-day -day routines, your everyday life going to get better in the month of February. Um, the overall goal for you in the month of February is transforming your worrisome thoughts, taking the thoughts and anxiety that you have and then transmuting those, changing them to something more positive. So instead of saying, uh, you know, I'm afraid I might never meet the my soulmates or something like that. You could say, I'm happy I didn't meet them at the wrong time in my life. Or I'm glad that I'm not, you know, like instead of, oh, I'm worried I'm going to be single forever. I'm so thankful that I'm not with the wrong person, that this leaves me available for the right person to walk through my life, that kind of an energy, okay? So um, what they want you to do is really think about this. Think about all of these thoughts that you have they are not necessarily negative and change them to a positive because the thoughts we have that are negative when we believe them, when we focus on those, it causes us a mental stress but then that mental stress plays out in our body and it's a big problem it's just like a cascade of negative things happening in your life it fucks up your law of attraction so um what we think about we bring about so we want to take every thought that we have and ch not necessarily change the thought but reframe the way that we think about it so that we're seeing it in positive light okay because we can't lie about our reality right but we can see the silver linings okay so in regards to work career and finance pisces what does that look like for you? Here's the deal. You in February might not notice that there are offers coming through for you in regards to career. If you do notice them, awesome. They're going to be um, offers, and this is kind of like what we were talking about just in general, possible new career opportunities or abundance coming through for you. So what they're saying is, it will be something that you enjoyed doing in the past or closely related to that. Something not so different than what you're used to, 
but overall happy. Um, but you want to do, you do want to keep your eyes open because some of you Pisces are not maybe going to catch that if you're not paying attention or, um, and what they're saying is some of you wouldn't catch it because of that kind of energy that shift that we were talking about where, you know, like you, if you're in a negative mindset, you're just not going to be noticing these things around you because the universe doesn't want to hand you things if you're not appreciative of them. Does that make sense? Okay. So what are the kind of challenges you will face in regards to work, finance, or career in the month of February? Um, they say that you might be a little bit defensive about being patient and waiting for things to pay off. So if you are making financial decisions with somebody, um, you really have to stand your ground because this is actually a positive aspect in the way that this is being framed. Because what they're saying here is, you know, like, okay, like here's a stupid example, but maybe you put money in like a stock or like Bitcoin or something, right? And then here it's saying, okay, well, if I'm coming here now to claim the seeds that I've planted. And if I take them out of this tree now, like I brought this basket, um, you know, and then maybe they're small or whatever, but if I wait, each one, instead of having seven fit in the basket, is going to be bigger than the basket itself. So being patient and just kind of watching things as they grow is going to be a better option for you in regards to your career or your finance. So if you're, if you're hearing this and it's in regards to career, it's like if you just wait a little bit longer before jumping ship, you might get that promotion. If it's about, you know, an investment that you made or um, maybe if maybe it's about wanting to move. Maybe you want to sell your house. If you just wait until this winter is over and you sell it in the spring, you'll get a bigger profit. That kind of an energy, okay? So patience is definitely a virtue for you in the month of February in regards to career or finance. Um, what kind of vibes are you putting out surrounding these energies? And they say that you are a very patient kind of person. And it's like you're holding on to things and other people might not agree with that. That's why that uh, element of like defense, like, Hey, uh, you know, no, I, I know what I'm doing here is very important. People might not trust you just because of your general Pisces nature, which is, you know, a lot of people are attracted to. They like that, that you're emotional and you go with your gut and you're very instinctual, but they don't always trust it because they don't trust their own instincts and your instincts are right. And so if you're trying to hold on to something and you're trying to wait, um, you, that is in your best interest. Don't let somebody else tell you otherwise. Okay, so the overall goal or um, area of focus for you in regards to career finance or money for the month of February is um, to bring humor into your life. Now, this is regarding your fear chakra, okay? So it's saying that, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis, there's going to be people who irritate you. And if you can just try to laugh about it, you're going to just like kind of be less annoyed, especially when they're trying to tell you something and you already know instinctually that it's not right, that it's not the best decision for you. So they're like, anything that causes you stress, try to just let it go with humor. Um, because what happens is stress lowers our vibration, right? And every time that we laugh or we giggle, our vibration goes way higher. And so when we're up here, when our vibration is at love or above, is what they say, is when we're able to manifest all of these blessings into our life. So even if we're feeling down, even if we're stressed out, you'll watch a comedy show that makes you laugh or something on Netflix, all of a sudden you're a lot luckier and more blessings come to you because you're at love or above now. You raised your own vibration. Okay, so moving on to your love life. Single Pisces in the month of February. What can you expect in general? And then coupled Pisces, what can you expect in general? Okay, so single Pisces, they're like, as long as you're getting everything kind of situated and organized in your day-to-day -day life, so long as you're, start, as like you're really focused, you set some goals or intentions, um, you're gonna start to see that you're achieving all of this balance. And in the background, you might not see it because you're facing forward, you're not facing the water where your emotions are calm as a result of this hard work that you've done, that there are blessings coming in. You have a literal ship coming in. You could maybe feel it if you're intuitive with that moon behind it, but then um, you also have a dolphin, and dolphins indicate silly, fun, happy, positive changes. So, so long as you get your day-to-day -day life kind of organized and balanced, 
then all of a sudden love could be coming in for you out of, you know, like sneaking up behind you. And it would be a very passionate and exciting kind of love. Now, emotionally, you might not feel like you're ready for it because you're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm feeling a lot calmer than maybe I did in 2017, which was a total garbage year because numerolo numerologically speaking, it was a nine year. It was a year about like endings and things that were shit. But now we're in an 11 year, which is about making our wishes, which is why it's so important to get that crap together. And right as it feels like you're getting your footing and you're starting a new routine and maybe love's not as important, boop. Here it comes. <laughs> so it might throw you off course a little bit, but it is a good thing for you and it would be passionate and it would be exciting, but just make sure that you maintain that focus. Now, for those of you who are coupled, what does it look like in general? It's saying nothing might be different. You might not have like new ideas, anything exciting happening, but you are just overflowing with love and joy and happiness for your partner and you don't even know why. Like there's literally nothing different, you know? Your partner looks the same, they've got the same haircut, they've got the same stubble on their face or whatever, and you are like, wow, you are the most handsome person I have ever seen. Ever. I'm so in love with you. It's that kind of energy. But good for you. Good to feel that, right? Now, what kind of challenges will you face if you are a single Pisces? Um, well, you know what, anything that was supposed to come apart in 2017 that you held on to will actually crumble. Now that could be people that you drug into 2018 that you weren't supposed to. That, you know, people you're talking to or whatever, or exes, that kind of thing. Um, but it could also be mindsets. So this is a very positive card because what happens is things that are broken that they don't work, they come apart and something new and better is built in their place. New and improved, right? But you've got to be open to that. And so some of you are deciding to stay in that garbage energy of 2018, dragging that bullshit with you, and everybody else around you that isn't is going to be getting all these blessings. So that's your choice. You have free will, but just know that you have, there's like really positive stuff for single Pisces coming in in the month of February, but you have to be open to receive it. And if you're pe spending time and attention on somebody who's an asshole, well, then you're going to miss out on a good guy or a good girl or whatever. Okay. Now, if you are coupled, what are the challenges? They say, um, no, some of you are watching both singled and coupled at the same time. Okay, and this is who I'm speaking to, and I'll pull a couple more cards for those of you who are coupled and you're happy, okay? But for those of you who are watching both, because you're like thinking about divorce, you're in the process of a breakup, but you feel like you can't leave, like your marriage is done, you're not in love, you're not happy, but you can't leave because you have kids or whatever, or because of finances, um, that energy sticks through here and so then that what they're saying basically is go back and listen to that last little section on the single Pisces and that's a choice you could you could leave that bullshit behind you maybe you don't know how maybe it's scary and yeah change is hard and it's scary but it's going to be your choice if you want to sit in energy that's uncomfortable for everybody so okay but for those of you are ha who are happy Pisces and you are um, coupled and you're so in love with your partner. Um, they say that alone time will be a challenge for you, but you know, you're gonna actually kind of need it in a certain way to, like how we were talking about in general, to follow through with these new ideas and routines and things that you have, or even for work related things, because you could be just like so um, mesmerized or enchanted by your partner this month that you don't wanna work. But great. I mean, awesome for you, <laughs> especially if you've been in a relationship for like a really long time, falling back in love. That's amazing, especially when it's coming out of nowhere. Okay. Um, the vibes that you are putting out if you are a single Pisces, that you're hopeful, you know, and you're putting out really positive vibes that people look at and they're like, you know, this person is a really positive person. That's the kind of person not only that I want to be with, but the kind of person that I would hope to become like. So that's amazing. If you are, I just love your good vibes, Pisces. My goodness. Um, if you are coupled, what kind of vibes are you putting out there? Um, that you know what you want, which is good. It's very good. Um, 
some of you are putting out this confusing energy, but those are the coupled people who are staying in things that are done. Does that make sense? You're confusing the universe. The universe is trying to give all Pisces a blessing in their love life, but they don't know what to give you for some of you, okay? For the rest of you, though, you're getting it. If you know what you want, you're getting it. Okay, so what is, whoa, they just want to say uh, three more things. They say, you know, things are stable, things are good, they're going to grow, they're going to prosper. If you wanted to get pregnant, this is a good month for that. If you wanted to expand your family, if you wanted at home decorating, awesome month for that, Pisces. But they're like, this is a month for Pisces people to connect with their soulmates. It really is. And so you have to decide if you're going to be in a position where that's a possibility for you or not, because this is a wish year. It's a very, these don't happen very often, wish years, okay? Um, so anyway, this is your month, guys. It really is. Oh my gosh, it's your birthday month too. Happy birthday. Happy birthday for your birthday. You're getting your soulmate. I love it. Um, and they're like, you really don't have to come up with any new ideas on how to scheme for that. That's amazing. I can't wait to do the Pisces love reading now. Like the love specific one. Okay. So anyway, what is your overall goal in regards to your love life for single Pisces? What's your area of focus? They say work on your physical health. So um, they want you to think about this. Like where am I not so great at physical health? Do I, should I start stretching? Should I start going to yoga? Should I start drinking more water? Should I start washing my face more? Like what is it that I need to do? Should I take vitamins? They're like, just think of one thing that you suck at that wouldn't be that hard for you to incorporate into your day-to-day -day life and start doing it every day because that positive action that you're doing is also gonna raise your vibration and make these blessings come in a lot quicker. Now, for those of you who are coupled, what's your area of focus in your love life? And they're like, just spend one day connecting to spirit and visualize yourself like in the company of your angels, of God, the universe, whatever it is that you believe in, okay? They're like, spend that one day and like really think about all the blessings that you have because this will be a very awesome month, but it'll be extra super amazing for you especially in your love relationship, if you're expressing gratitude for all of these things. Like if you're the kind of person who can cry because you're so in love and you're so thankful that you found this person for a couple of Pisces, like do that because then your relationship is only going to get bigger and better and more beautiful. Okay. Now on to your personal growth. What does it look like overall for you in the month of February for Pisces? And they're saying, um, you're really mentally kind of like aware of what your strengths and weaknesses are in regards to your personal growth and what you have to do, what you need to work on. They're like, some of you um, maybe are kind of just sitting with those emotions and you're not necessarily doing anything with it. But knowing is actually big because a lot of people kind of avoid that inner knowing. So they're like, you know, if you're adopting this mindset, like, I don't want to deal with it because, you know, X, Y, Z, because you're making excuses or, you know, like life isn't fair, like whatever. That's okay. But just know that in this very emotional and powerful month that you could see a lot of progress and like, like a big spirit push if you wanted to become more psychic or if you wanted to become more intuitive or, you know, more religious or just more in touch with your own self through your higher self, that's totally a possibility for you this month. What kind of challenges are you facing that you're not really investing so much in your spiritual side as perhaps spirit wants you to? <laughs> so you might end up hearing a lot of things like, um, you may start hearing the same song over and over in your head again. And that's spirit trying to contact you this month. They're like, Hey, here, a little friendly reminder. Hopefully it's a good song, right? Hopefully it's something you like, something it's like, I'm so happy, whatever. Like to kind of raise your vibration, that sort of thing, they'll help you out that way, but you have to be open to it. So it would be a very good month for you um, to do some psychic development or um, personal growth. They're saying, but that's the problem here for some of you is that it does require you to kind of like sit alone. And if you're all in love and all this magical stuff is happening, it's going to be a little bit of a challenge to find that alone time. Even if you're not that coupled Pisces, even if you're that single Pisces, um, you could be meeting people, right? And you're like, I want to spend all my time getting to know you 
as opposed to, you know, working on developing my spiritual side of my life. So, or my, um, working through my personal shit. It doesn't have to be spirituality, but I'm very much getting that vibe here. Um, okay. So what kind of vibes are you putting out in regards to your personal growth? and spirituality and they're like yeah like you're kind of like keeping stuff to yourself you're stuffing it down not really dealing with it they're saying that's okay for now but it could kind of cause some chaos later so just something to think about through by the time you get to the end of february you want to be a little bit more focused on your personal growth and stuff so your goal in regards to that is just taking more steps to get healthy <laughs> i wonder why health is such a focus for you um, so they're like, what is one area of your health that you're neglecting? Okay. Just think of one, you know, is it that you're not drinking enough water? Are you waking up with headaches because you're dehydrated? That's me. I'm not a Pisces, but I do that all the time. And then, um, you know, why are you not doing it? Well, because I don't like it. Like, look, I, I put drops in there to make it taste better and it still tastes nasty. It still tastes like nothing. It's kind of yuck. Anyway, but this one, I'm multitasking though. You know what? It's that it's those Neo drops or whatever or something like that. Maybe it isn't, but it's got vitamins in it. <laughs> so at least even though it's disgusting, I feel like I'm accomplishing something. Anyway, they're like maybe your diet needs a change. Maybe your um, maybe you need to get a little bit more exercise, some fresh air. But whatever it is, commit to doing that one thing a day. And you know, this was a different card when we saw it before. It was more related to like our fears and like our basic needs. But this is about our heart chakra because it's green. Okay, so in correlating to our heart chakra, I think what they're saying with that emotional stuffing is if you're starting to do this, all that stuff kind of works itself out. Like, you know how people who love to run say all these things, like they get a runner's high or that's how they clear their mind or whatever. I personally can't get on board with that. Like the whole time if I was running, I would be like, oh my God, I can't breathe. I'm sweating. It's disgusting. I hate this. But the people who like that, like it's like a form of meditation for them. So maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's meditating. Maybe it's gratitude journaling. Because we're not talking just your physical health necessarily. This is your emotional health. This is your mental health. This is all that stuff. But if you can fix, if you can do one thing a day to, to work on one area, whatever that is, whatever is lacking, whatever you've been neglecting doing, basically it's a domino effect to make positive changes in all these other ways. You know, like if you get more sleep, you're less of a bitch to everybody around you. And then you have more friends, your husband likes you more, like all of these things, right? You're expressing more gratitude, like your vibrations higher, so you're attracting more abundance. Like one little change can make the biggest difference in your life in ways that you couldn't even understand. But spirit hooks you up that way. Okay, so that is what we wanted to do for your goal in regards to your personal life. Or your personal growth and development. Now, your crystal of the month um, for Pisces is smoky quartz. It's hard to see maybe with this background. Let me, there we go. Ah, sport, I almost fell. Smoky quartz in a cluster formation. Now, smoky quartz comes in different formations, but this is what I pulled for you. This specific rock I have on my website if you wanted to look at it um, or potentially purchase it. But no pressure to. You can go to your local rock store, pick one out that works for your, you know, for your own style. But anyway, that's your crystal of the month. If you like to work with crystals, this one will be particularly helpful in your healing process and in getting you all the things that you want and you desire. Now, um, smoky quartz in general is known for its protective energies and it takes anything that's negative and it just transmutes it like it pushes it into the ground and it brings it back up positive so if you're feeling negative at all get a smoky quartz out hold it in your hand um use it to charm your water what whatever however you like to use meditate with it however you like to use your crystals that's this is your crystal of the month <laughs> there is a little playlist um on this channel about different ways to use crystals. I'm not sure that all of the videos I've ever made about using crystals are in there yet um, because those go to Patreon first and then like a year and a half later I post them here. But anyway, there's some ideas there if you're interested. If not, who gives a shit? But Smoky Quartz is your lucky stone. Okay, love and light and see you soon, I guess, for your love readings. Bye.